Today is Thursday, October 9th. Welcome to Unknown Worlds video cast number five. I'm Charlie. I'm Max. And I'm Matt. Oh, and Matt's working while we're talking. Um, so this video cast, we want to show you some of the tech that we've been working on. So for Natural Selection 2 and the engine that we're building, we're doing all the lighting in real time, uh, all dynamic. So that means all the lights can move, it means we can have proper specular reflections on surfaces. Um, we can have really nice bump mapping effects. We have nice lighting on models, right? Right, consistent so lighting consistent across lighting. everything in, in the environment. Uh, the walls, the props that make up the environment, the characters. So this first area is a really dark room until we press this button here. You can see the, you know, there's like a quick little thing we did where we just built some shades and we put the sun behind it and you open the shades and uh, you get all these cool shadows. Yeah, that's the nice thing about doing things um, sort of the, the real way. So everything properly shadows and the atmospheric effects uh, work properly. They're not like some weird hack that only works in a special case and to make an opening blinds that does it would be some you know really complicated thing. Here we just yeah build blinds, animate them, the shadows work Set properly, the, Done. the atmospheric effects work properly and you can see the shadows being cast onto the um, the atmospheric particles. Now we'll show you this kind of outdoor area. So this is a glass hallway with a view out to kind of the, the area that the humans have, are you know, kind of refining and pillaging. So that you can see you know, nice sunlight streaming through the window. There's a, kind of an emissive property. So if we have the lights in the texture, they glow and they're bright. Next room, you can see we've got this cool rotating fan. Again, this is a really simple thing. Put the sun behind it, and uh, we have like these awesome shadows, and cool, cool uh, kind of emergent effects in the walls. And it sort of adds, it's, they're small details, but add kind of a level of life to the mm -hmm. environment. Things are moving, it's not just completely static, right? Which is part of what we're going for. As a final room, you can see, uh, this, is, this is all actually natural section one artwork. You see the hive, um, you see the sensor chamber there. Yeah, you can see like the cool shadows from multiple light sources just overlaying on top of each other. I don't know what you call that. But the first great thing about having dynamic environments is less, you know, or I mean the, the visuals look better. But the second thing is there's no, no pre-computation, so our workflow gets a lot better. Right, so instead of building a map, placing the lights, and then spending, you know, half an hour to an hour in some sort of compilation phase where, you know, the computer thinks about it, pre-computes all the lighting, and then you can look at it and decide, oh, it's not right. We can eliminate all of that and directly in the editor you can place the lights, you can move them around, you can see exactly what it's going to look like in the game. Much faster for, uh, for to iterate on. Right. Really, it's really not even iterating, I guess, because it's just all, you just yeah, do it. You're just playing with it. Yeah. And that's really important for us because we have a team of four people um, and we have no extra time to, to spend like waiting for anything. Yeah. So we knew this was something that we had to do. And it makes work a lot more pleasant too. So I think it's forward thinking and it's going to be the right course for us going ahead in the future too. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the glimpse of uh, technology behind Natural Selection 2. It's starting to look nice and we're pretty happy with it and we're looking forward to seeing your feedback.